I realize this concept of hydrophobic hydrophilic interactions is kind of odd, but you've actually seen this before, especially if you like salads with Italian dressing. What we have here is a bottle of oil and vinegar. The oil is on the top, the vinegar is on the bottom. And what's happened is that the hydrophobic aspects of the oil has actually pushed itself away from the uh, hydrophilic, the water in the vinegar, and it's separated very clearly. So now you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to shake this bottle to see uh, what happens. You can see even with momentary shaking, there is some mixing but that's actually only temporary. As you can see already down at the bottom, the oil is starting to separate from the vinegar. These hydrophobic hydrophilic interactions seem very weak, but as you can see, that amount of oil is beginning to push it, be pushed by the water back up on top. And now you can see, and this is literally after only about three to four minutes, of set time you can see that the oil is almost all the way removed from the vinegar. Now I expect that you think that I'm going to take this and mix it up again and then pour it on a salad and eat the salad but I don't really like salad. It's a bunch of hamster food. So isn't it odd that something as flimsy as the um, soap bubble has inferences into how the cytoplasmic membrane um, it functions. Now in reference to oil versus vinegar, who wins? Well, I think it's a tie. They're both important.